my glass. I just throw the glass at her. I just the cocktail and Candace's hair because she's gonna call me the help. And then out of nowhere, Kiana hits me in my face, and then I threw my. Was she punch you? Yeah, in my face. And then that's when we got on the floor. Put your hands on me and think I'm not gonna say okay, anything and okay. I'm not gonna do anything. I know. I'm sorry. Okay. Mm -mm. Is K okay? K, don't look at it. Everybody calm down. K is calmer. Come on. It's okay. I need to rinse my face off. Come here. Yeah, she she needs, she's getting ready to come out. So we're standing up. Next thing I know, Deborah, Sesame Street, or whatever. She takes a drink. She throws it to hit cans. At that point, I'm like like pushing her back because I see like She's a problem. She turns around, grabs a glass, hits me in my damn forehead. My face. Are you okay? Girl. I'm here. I know, same here. I'm, I'm here. here. Okay. How you doing? Okay. I know I doing all right. A couple of times. I know, girl. It's been a lot. You had what? to unplug. After seeing the social media stuff and after Deborah really doubling down on that sort of antagonizing, I have decided to really put a pause on my friendship with Deborah. A lapse in judgment is one thing, it's really how you act moving forward. And I can't get down with that. The last thing I ever want to see is two people that I know and care about in a fight, especially at my event where, sure, you know, like we the, don't want to see the context is supposed to be that my friends were there to support me. These are my real friends, and I know that there has been tension in the so past. So you know your real friends do stuff like that? If they're provoked? Or never. Needed well, so I've never been in that situation with them, obviously. Like, we do play dates. We all have kids. So that's how I know her. So that side of her I've never seen before. I think she won the attention. I hate to say it like this, but... I hope I don't have to see I'm not going to watch her sister potentially get attacked in the second time. I think Deborah was absolutely dead ass wrong for throwing a drink at all. And I also think she was wrong for getting up even going over there. She should have stayed with her friends, had a good time, and what would have upset them even more was her ignoring them and being a bad bitch. Personally, I want to say one thing. Oh. As some of you guys know, this has been like a super tough week for me. Some of you guys have really reached out and it has really shown me the level of support and love that, you know, some of you guys have for me. And when I heard from Karen, because you didn't have to. Um, yes, I did. I mean, you know what I'm saying. We've been through a lot. Yes. But I like where we are right now, even yeah. if I didn't. I know. It's the right thing to do in this friendship circle. One thing I love about Karen is I've been able to be accountable to her about the things that I've done that she didn't like. And she, to me, that's what grown women do. And not everybody in this group is like that. Giselle and I, we go toe to toe, but we get past it because at the end of the day, we're friends. I have been wanting to do something with these group of women, something that was powerful. I just want you all to know that I am so proud of her. She is a role model. I am the regional developer and multi-clinic owner for the Joint Chiropractic. She is an absolutely wonderful mother and a pretty darn good wife, too. Yeah. I have no interest in going to strip clubs. There ain't nothing better than this. I think we have one of the best relationships there is on Earth. So at this moment, I want you to join me in raising a toast. Cheers. Well, official um, was July. No one knew. 
the trailer did it. He didn't like that whole notion between Ashley and I and DR. I most definitely think that you married Michael for his money. Did you marry Gordon for his money? I might have. Let's talk about like longevity. I don't want to have to like sleep in Juju's room. You asked for this, so I don't think you thought this through well enough to think about all the unintended consequences, so. You tell me how it looks, a married woman going to live with a single man I wasn't in a five bedroom house. Bullshit. The I, kids he told wasn't me. even there half the time. I, he worked oh, in 17 different cities. They even told me you were sleeping with him when you said you weren't. Jeremiah no, said, Gordon, I saw mommy sleeping with Gordon. Mr. Ink. His name is Ink. I am Z. Okay. <laughs> Gordon was aware of me sleeping with him when we first got married because I told him. It's like, it's a very unfortunate situation. I had a prostate cancer. My things, organs weren't working like they used to. On my 70th birthday, I said, you know, if you find someone that you think you want to start spending time with, I want you to know I'm okay with that, but I have two rules. One, be the street. Two, don't get the kids involved. And in this case, you did both. You, Jerem, Juju asked me, Dad, why is mommy trying to replace you with Mr. Ink? I mean, honestly, Gordon, if you gave me your blessing, then why are you so upset? Because you were throwing it in my face and you took the kids around him. I took your phone for two hours. Then you got mad and went off to Atlanta with Yes, because you, well, you took my phone and minute. locked me in a room. Okay. I said for two hours you can have a back, get some rest. Gordon, you're not my dad. So the open relationship, did that not include her being able to be with Did not include him. Because he's been in there trying to break up our marriage. Because I was pissed that she always went to him when she claimed she had a problem. She told me he was my safe zone. She said that. He's my soulmate. Tell me, why did think that Jeremiah was his kid? Gordon, that's not fair. That's not fair. Let me go, tell you. You won't fair, go you. to a carnival. I think what happened is when she started making a lot of money in the show, felt like I had no access to capital. Do you soak it now? Is the time to leave? No, Gordon, not at all. So I chill mean, out with that. You're I'm slandering me, I'm and I'm the, the one truth. that's transferring money to you to make sure that you can eat. Congratulations, thank you. But I'm such a gold digger. Thank you. Right? This life that I'm living is not really the life that God is intending for me. Like I need to like follow my heart, and whatever happens, happens. He told me 10 years ago he will be here when I'm ready, and he has held true to that. He has not asked anybody to marry him, and if now is the time, now is the time. <laughs>